All right, you guys, I got new bars. Wanted to update you. I got some really good opinions on them and I would recommend them highly. I'll wait for this guy to go by. Yeah, that's them. They look good, they look better when start matching up some other pieces. Go put some gas in. Give you guys some thoughts. What I think about these girls and the difference. I've been working on these this bike like crazy. Most time has been spent. On the carburetors, I'm starting to hone them in. I've gotten to the point to where I'm going to need main jet and pilot jet to uh, get her fully performing at her peak. So I ordered a round of tank cream. I'm going to repurpose these tanks. If anybody has any suggestions on how to secure these tanks in with the rubber hangers, then I'm all ears. I'm fighting this thing left and right. Yeah. Uh, she's just sliding all around. Keep sliding back. You fight it the whole time you ride. Alright, back to the bars. So the bar, the difference in the bars. Um, compared to the stock, the steering did get heavier, much heavier. Uh, but it's more reactive, so less movement for more reaction. Even though you got the heavier steer. But I love them. And it gives me that little bit of more of a frontward facing position, a little more leaned in, feel a little more uh, stable and comfortable with the accelerating. The way these uh, seats are designed, there is no holding you in, cupping you in. It just, it's like sitting on a flat board. I can't say enough good things about them. I ended up getting that bar in, and I won't talk about how I did that. <laughs> I've had a few people say they look like they should have been on there from the get-go. They look like a, an old school bar, even though they're new. Fit the look of the bike. Uh, sliding that tank, guys. I was uh, debating on, you know, going and getting something. There's a dealership next to me, kind of a mom and pop dealership. He's got a bunch of vintage bikes. That's kind of what he deals with. He's got BMWs, Triumphs, Hondas, Kawasaki's, so. And they're all in really good condition. Super cool guy. He said even if I had no intentions of buying, if I ever wanted to come up and just take one for a spin, it would not be a problem, he said. I don't know, I think I will go in there and I might talk to him about uh, getting a motor for this thing. He should know where to do that. I don't know. Maybe move up to the 440 I don't know how easily you can put the 440s in these I know those motors have way less problems It was just a uh, two or three year Where they had this problem where it was Kawasaki knew it They straightened that out I think in 77 a year after this one. So we'll see See, it's a little heavier, definitely heavier, more reactive. Well, well. She don't flick like the TNT, but she still flicks. Push my tank up. Yeah, dude. Look at this freaking turn. Oh my god. 
see if there's anything in the road. Appreciate you guys if you guys at this point. Stay safe out there. And I'll catch you on the next one. From this hard to be standing on your own. Hard to be standing on your These were the originals. <laughs> this big but meh. They look a little mush mix. Alright, she's going back to the garage. Out of my mind, how could I be so blind? How could I not see?